Okie dokie. Well, good evening, everybody. Well, I was in the middle of playing Guild Wars 2, and I um, figured since I'm um, waiting for, uh, for a few events to occur before fighting a world boss, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video showcasing uh, what this class does and stuff, or at least my version of it. Um, this is the Guardian class. Uh, it's basically the Paladin, like in World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. Um, they're... You know, they can be DPSers, they can be uh, tanks, um, and but uh, a big a big component of the class, just like in the other games as well, is uh, team support, and they're they're also healers. So, but uh, before I continue on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire up some uh, music. Uh, this is gonna be depressive silence. This is um one of the one of the very first uh, dungeon synth record or not records albums. It came out in like the 90s, so this is old school right here. So. Yeah, but, but like I said, um, I'm just in the middle, just waiting on a few events to uh, occur here before I have a big world boss. Although I don't, I don't know. If I'm still gonna be recording this video when the uh, when the world boss appears. her her main weapon is a staff and then basic shield her basic staff attack is uh just her uh, it's a ranged attack it hits up to three targets in an area the third the third hit though I believe it all uh, it heals everybody around you so. Oh, I thought I had the I, I thought I had the staff. Okay, this is the mace weapon, by the way. So, oops. Then cast that. You'll see a little circle on the ground. It um it casts a regen on everybody around you. And this in here kind of it puts you in block mode, for lack of a better phrase. Kind of the same thing here. Shields you and uh, it buffs uh, it buffs your allies. This kind of works in Final Fantasy XIV. I forget the name of the exact paladin ability, but uh, it's where uh, you block all attacks in front of you, and then every and then everybody everybody behind you. I think it's like a narrow cone. Like I said, I haven't really I haven't really played the game in at least least to hear so but yeah it's supposed to protect all allies behind you when you have this ability but shield of judgment here kind of works that same way sort of kind of the same thing here and then for the staff this is the one I was wanting to talk about um it's a ranged weapon I thought it did healing, but no. Looks like it don't. So yeah, it just... It damages enemies uh, at the impact point. And we got, um... Uh, kind of the same thing here. It, um... Uh, does some burst healing in an area. This some here, uh, Damages enemies, again, in an area. And, um... Uh, it gives swiftness to everybody around you. This is a, a channel. It uh, channels healing. Then, if you manage to, if you manage to complete it, this is also one of the very rare abilities in the entire game where you have to stand still while casting it. You can't move. But uh, most, most other channeled abilities in this game, you can cast them while moving. And then this creates a line in front. Of you. And then um, another key component of the guardian are on uh, virtues. They all have uh, passive abilities. But uh, if you can you can use you can cast them to or activate them I should say. So in that they kinda work the way signets do in this game. Signets have a passive ability, but if you activate them, 
you lose that passive ability until the until the signet comes off cooldown. But kind of like my um, kind of like my main, my engineer. She's got a good supply of swiftness and stability, which I consider pretty mandatory in any class. I mean, she can cast this to give her to give herself and anybody else around her swiftness. She can cast ad advance and same thing, up to five nearby allies while also get swiftness ages, as it shows there, and the event's about to start. So, so I'm gonna have to kind of explain this on the run. Hope I don't die because it looks like I'm the only one here. There's the power. Shield now. Getting help. Swapping back. Okay. Like I was saying, continuing on. I mean, this gives swiftness, Aegis, which as it shows there, you block the next attack. Um, you also got some disability here. It also gives you some stability, as well as everybody else around you. saying she's got a she's got plenty of stability options too which I also consider mandatory for any class and stun breaks you look on the bottom you the most effective of these kind of abilities have to have both it has to, you have to it has to give you stability and a stun break and this also has it as well but this this particular ability virtue of courage so that are uh, massive abilities here. Oh, not the one. That's the one. Oh, I guess we can look. I guess we can look at this while we're here. So this is the uh, healing spec. Which, yeah, I, I don't even consider this one, because uh, it, ru it really does need to be right at the end of your dodge roll in order to heal people around you. Yeah, same thing here. I'm um, wielding a staff, so all the uh, weapon cooldowns are shorter. And then concentration for those that don't know, it um. It's a stat that determines how long your buffs last, both incoming and un no, I think it's just outgoing. I thought it was incoming, but no. Fight Fight well. then, virtue skill too. Let me see if I can pull this up. And again, the virtues. It's these three here. And then. Shout skills convert conditions to bones. I want to look at some. Oh, damn. Yeah, because. 
converting condi for the, something something like this, converting conditions to bones, it's something that you would almost you you would have to you have to set up for. It would require a lot of setup because you want to have as much condition clients as possible in order to get the most effectiveness out of this. I tried doing this with my engineer. And it looks like the boss is gonna start. Uh, let me. I'll just pick that. Symbols. Every weapon has them. The staff here has this. My uh, mason shield has this. to a bad start. Still smarter. Yes, these purple crystals. Yeah, purple crystals. Other players have to kill them. No, well, that sucked. It's like I'm the lone guy that got encased in a crystal. Nobody came out and helped me. that one. But I guess one drawback to this class, most of their abilities have to be tap targeted. It is, it is like my engineer where the mortar and the uh, flamethrower he uses don't require a target at all. They just gotta be in the spot you're aiming at. Never felt that. Not here. show going That particular boss, you're, 
you're better off fighting him at range. So I... Not something I'd really want to use here. The Mason Shield, so... Stab. And then... And then, and then before I call it up, before I call it good, let me explain a couple of my other abilities. Ah, uh, receive the light. This uh, heals me. I just now notice that it all uh, it heals everybody in a cone in front of me. And then I mentioned this. It all uh, gives swiftness to me and everybody else around. You can kind of see it. Give stability. It also breaks stuns. And then this here, um, I don't know if you guys saw it. For those that don't know, there's like a little little blue wing symbol on top of some of the players. That means they've been that means they're down. They're down, but not out. And this ability here, if I cast it over them, it's gonna revive everybody in that area. And then there's this. It uh, heals everybody around me, you know, every so often. Probably like every 10 No, every three seconds, okay. But, um, like I said, this is definitely a favorite class of mine. Um, the only drawback, it's for reasons that I, I, could, I could probably make a whole video about it. But uh, they're the uh, they're the most popular class in the entire game. But uh, I can but I can definitely kind of see why though. Alrighty, but uh, that's going to do it for me. I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But like I said, I just wanted to do a showcase of this class. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do some uh, sort of cleaning up and logistical stuff. And then going to work on getting this uh, video all prepped up and uploaded to YouTube. So, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.